Good evening and welcome back to Twin State Sports. I'm Zach Seminar. The biggest and most popular of the NBA Summer League's tips off today. Basketball fans can watch tomorrow's stars tear it up with their new teams in Sin City at the Las Vegas Summer League. New in 2019, teams from China and Croatia will make an appearance to help fill out a full 32-team bracket after the preliminary round is complete. Over 80 games will be played in 11 days and the headliner tonight pinned the Pelicans up against the Knicks as former teammates R.J. Barrett and Zion Williamson go head-to-head. -head. Williamson is expected to see the floor from anywhere from about 24 to 28 minutes and he spoke of his debut on Thursday. Um, obviously, it is going to be exciting to play against my brother, but uh, you know, I really can't go into the game thinking of it like that because we're two different positions. So, only way we'll be matched up if it's a switch or something, but uh, I think we're both excited for it. Vic Schaefer's United States team roaring to a 92-52 win over Slovakia to claim Group C at the World University Games late this morning. Rakia Jackson led the way in scoring, but it was Team USA's defense that won the day, holding Slovakia to 26% shooting while forcing 26 turnovers. The U.S. women's national team will play in their fifth Women's World Cup final on Sunday morning. The Americans will take on the Netherlands, who clinched their first ever trip to the title game earlier this week. After sitting out last game, Megan Rapino set to start on Sunday, but the U.S. knows they're in for a dogfight tomorrow. Oh, it's massive, you know. I mean, it's it's the World Cup final. I mean, I you know to to be here again is you kind of have to pinch yourself. But you know, this this was the plan. This is everything. You know, over the past 15 months has been has been geared. And for them to be the European champions um, is amazing. And to get to a final, as always, you have to be a fantastic team. You can't just you know be good at defense or be good at offense or you know have one or two stars. It would just be incredible. I think you know everyone's journey is is special, but to hoist up the trophy would just sum up everything that we've sacrificed, everything we've had to go through, and just um, being unified one last time in, in a battle that we know is ahead of us would just be incredible. Sunday's World Cup final kicks off at 10 a.m. And 15-year-old Corey Goff's historic run continues. Today, the American from Atlanta faced her toughest opponent, Slovenian Polana Herzog, and she never wavered. After dropping the first set and trailing in the second set, Goff overcame the deficit to take set number 276. Third and final set, it was a dogfight, but once Goff found that rhythm that she was searching for for much of the first half of the battle, that was all she wrote. Now Goff becomes the fifth youngest woman to reach the quarterfinals of Wimbledon. Up next, she'll face seventh-seeded Simona Halep on Sunday. And qualifying for tomorrow's Coke Zero Sugar 400 is washed out this afternoon, but that didn't mean there haven't been any fireworks on the track this 4th of July holiday weekend. Yesterday, Brad Keselowski got in the back of William Byron during practice. It caused quite the stir in the garage, and guys offered up their opinions on the matter. To lift or not to lift? Just I had a big run, and uh, it put me in a position where I had to lift, and I, I keep telling these guys I'm not lifting. So, I mean, I'm tired of getting wrecked at the play tracks. I've been wrecked out of four out of these last five races, quite honestly, because I let people pull moves like that on me. So... They're all watching, they know. You have to be careful with who you're, who you're racing, who you're doing things with, and what's going on. Tony always kind of said that two years ago, you know, and I threw a, a big block on him in 2008 and about ended up on my lid. So, um, SHIT happens, man. Tomorrow's race is set for 6.30 on NBC.